Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, me and my mum here, hi, are making mini puff pastry apple pies. Now, I'm going to show you the ingredients that you'll need. You'll need salted British butter. You'll also need some puff, puff pastry sheets right here. We use just roll puff pastry sheets which, which you can just like take out you'll need like light brown sugar you need to like mash that up before you start you'll need any type of apples me and my mum went out shopping today and we got British Cox apples and then you also need some brown sweet um, cinnamons by Sainsbury's which me and my mum use and then sorry about that I need I accidentally switched off my phone and then you need um ground sweet sugar cinnamon if you got if you guys didn't catch that ground nutmeg and then finally some lemon juice you can either get it from a fresh lemon or you can get it um pre-squeezed from a store like Sainsbury's M&S or for you, you Americans who are watching my channel you you can go like to Walmart or wherever you like get get lemons from so let's start so hey guys um first step to do is to get three apples and just like chop them up and you need like some butter you know here and then you need some brown sugar in there of course to like get all, all of it together and then some cinnamon um, can you fix that please because it is sipping yep you need a teaspoon of cinnamon um let me just pop that in I just realised that I did something very wrong, guys. My mum just called it out for me. She said I was doing it really not wrong. I forgot to scoop. I forgot scooping was a thing, even though I had noodles for lunch. Then add some lemon to the pot, which my mum is currently doing. And I am putting on the right lids. I nearly put the cinnamon um, lid on the nutmeg lid which is very weird so now you want to pop this on the stove i don't know if you guys heard that but my mum said um no i said um <coughs> put it on the stove i don't know if you heard that because my mum stopped it then you put the stove on pop it on and then you just cook it up for a couple of seconds I will show you. Let me just take my phone out. So right guys, we are cooking this until it's nice and soft. Then you'll need some hot water, not, not hot, I meant cold, into the, like the saucepan. And then mix, on, mix it until like it's very saucy, very like, like it's soft and very saucy and make sure the apples are very very small that they can fit into puff pastry and then you want to cook them yep and yeah just let them sit there just stir them for a couple of minutes and i'll see you once we're done also guys you probably want to add m more lemon juice than just like one splash of it otherwise you don't want like sweet 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 sour 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 sweet sweet sour 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 sweet but you want that perfect mixture of tangy sour and sweet 
with the apple pies so then it it's like really good really beautiful and it it'll taste better so i did they're still cooking right now but i'll see you once they're done i i promise no more interruptions we are back guys the apples are all cooked you don't hear the hob sizzling anymore the next bit we are going to let it cool like this we're going to let it cool for like five-ish minutes and then what we're going to do we're going to take the puff pastry in the meanwhile and after my mum has put all the apples in a bowl and like the sauce in a bowl i will get out the um get the cutlery not the cutlery board the chopping board we don't need the chopping board we need a clear surface oh yeah we do need a clear surface that's what i meant how do you open this one do you know do you have any idea to open how to open this yep let me just uh, show you here all you do is you just pull from one end <laughs> and you pull out the packet thank you mum and then we untake you have to pull it apart at the end there I'll see you once we've got like all the puff pastry rolled out. So me and my mum decided to cut the um, puff pastry all off camera, but we've got eight pieces. You can't see see all of them because my phone isn't that wide. And then we also made the egg wash off camera. So and and here's the uh, apple stuff. What, what we're gonna do? We are going to pop the apples in the middle. No, at one end. At one end, more like. Yeah, we can put a bit more in there. And then we can put like, you, if, you, if you've got really big ones, the maximum you can, you can put in is like five or seven. It depends on how big of puff pastry you have. And then you just, you egg wash it around the edges and then what you do pop it down and you fold right here make sure it's secure and then you fold the corners so it's like like round corners like this yeah make sure that any egg doesn't spill out like that and then you crimp 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 like cooking with linja says by the way we are following cooking with linja's um recipe um so yeah shout out um so mm, her recipe is really good this is the first time i'm making it oh, it's so Then we egg wash one more time. Just grab some egg wash on your egg wash brush. And once you've done that, you need to cut, cut, cut. So my mum just handed me a knife. So then cut, cut, cut. And then you just pop, go go pop it on wherever you need to, like go pop it on like a tray or something. So we're gonna get all of those done. So we're gonna see you in a minute. Yep, see you in a minute. We have got them in the oven. Have a look at those babies. They're going. So I won't be filming this part because, um, yep, you don't want to hear the sound sort of clearing up. But yeah, they are cooking. And I'll. So I want to go. Yeah, so 
we'll, we'll try one of them once they are done. See you when we're there. When, 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 when we're there. Yeah, that's what I meant. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm going downstairs. My mum just called me that they are ready. And they are. Oh, my God. Look at those babies. Yes, look at them. Look at them. So you needed to put them on 180 degrees for about how how long did you put it on? Uh, Twenty minutes in the end. Twenty minutes, and they actually look really nice. So I'm gonna let them cool down. Then we're gonna try one. I'm gonna try one once we're ready. See you then. Okay, guys. Now. now we are going to try one. See you in a bit. Okay, here they are. They're all cooled down. So now let's try one. Which one do you think I should pick? I think I should go for this one. Three, two, one. Maybe a plate. Um, I only got a bit of a pastry that time. Three, two, one. Mmm. Mmm. That is lovely. Look at that. Look at that filling. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Please. Our next goal is 30 subs. Please hit that sub button. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.